Police are now searching for the person who wrote anti-Semitic symbols on public property in Santa Monica. Neighbors even pitched in to help cover up that hateful graffiti. And NBC4's Tracy Leong explains police now have a possible lead on a suspect. Police tell me multiple witnesses describe a suspect they believe is behind these disturbing images discovered across the Pico neighborhood of Santa Monica. Detectives say it appears to be one person using a Sharpie to write on city property. We've blurred out these images of swastikas. Santa Monica police say it does not meet the criteria for a hate crime because it's not near a place of worship and no one specific was targeted. Today, the city's graffiti removal team cleaned up the anti-Semitic symbols that were on trash cans sidewalks, electrical boxes, and even light fixtures. Santa Monica police released a statement saying in part they strongly condemn these acts and emphasize that such hatred has no place in their inclusive community. Taylor Kaufman and her family saw the swastikas this weekend and decided to use chalk to transform the vandalism into flowers. Kaufman says the removal turned into a family art project. We were just so like upset, you know, and there were so many of them. And then today when they were still there, she was playing with some chalk outside. And I was like, let's just go and cover over them with some chalk flowers and hearts and butterflies and messages of love because love lives here too. Santa Monica police say they were first alerted to this on Friday. A man working in the area says he first noticed these swastikas about two months ago. Police plan to release a description of the suspect as soon as they gather more information. They also tell me these charges will be elevated to felony vandalism because the cost to clean up this swastika graffiti exceeds $950. Reporting in Santa Monica, Tracy Leong, NBC4 News.